So we're heading over to the shop right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna pull the tranny on the truck today. And I like to pull them out separate. A lot of people pull them out at the same time, motor and tranny, like together. But I like to pull them out separately so you can, don't have to tilt, like lift it and do a crazy angle on it and make it easier. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is unplug the battery, mainly just because the starter, when you take it off, you know, you're gonna end up sparking something. All right guys, so next I get under the truck and I already have my white pipe here off because I've been mocking up the turbo on this truck. But um, if you're, if you still have, if, obviously you're probably gonna have your white pipe, so you're gonna wanna take that off next. It's 315s on this side, 315s normally on this side. And then uh, it'll bolt up right here. And these are also 15s, I think, behind here, and you pretty much unbolt all that. Alright guys, so if yours is a two-wheel drive like mine, you're only going to have a couple connections. This one, the main plug, it's on the passenger side. You just squeeze the, you'll feel it, if you can't really see it, you'll feel the little ribs on it. You'll squeeze it and pull it up. Um, this connector here is for the O2 sensor, and this is the uh, speed sensor, oh, this is the speed sensor out the back of the tranny. So pretty much, you're you're really only gonna have these two connections on the tranny, and then you'll have the uh, the shift indicator, or the neutral safety switch, or whatever. Um, this piece here, you just kind of put like a flat screwdriver and pry it out. And then these, I've usually found that they're always usually like glued in there or something. So normally it's easier if you just take off the whole the safety switch because most of the time um i mean you can try to unplug it first but i've seen that they have like glue in there so it's easier to just uh unbolt the whole thing and um just kind of leave it hanging to the side because if you you're most likely not going to be able to take these out and you're going to end up breaking it ask me how i know <laughs> So that's easy and this is, um, it's already out of there but it's kind of stuck so you might want to shift your tranny into a different gear or you just twist it out of the way. Um, then here are these, you just push and it has a tab like this on the other side. So normally you can usually do it with your hand or if you can just grab a pair of pliers and that's out of the way. Um, then once you get that you just take off this nut here, it's a 15. Um, and then you can pull this out. Normally it's supposed to have another bolt there, but mine's missing it for some reason. Um, and then this one here, I believe these are 13s. So you take that out, and then you pretty much disconnect your wiring, like the little connector up top by the tranny lines, or fuel lines or whatever. So after you do that, you'll come back here to your rear end. And these are 11s, and you just loosen them all up, and then you'll probably have to get a pry bar and get it under there to kind of pry the axle or the drive shaft joint out of the diff and um, after you do that before or actually before you do that you might want to have a pan kind of sitting under this area here so when the, you pull it out oil is going to come out or fluid that way you'll catch like I said tranny fluid is going to pour out of there so make sure you have your pan ready to catch it all right so while that's draining I'm gonna put my tranny jack under the transmission pan here to kind of take the weight off the cross member so I can uh, take it off. So I mean if you don't have a lift and you'll be doing this on the ground you could probably do just a regular jack. Just put like a 2x4 on it. So I'm not exactly sure how good you guys can see that because it's kind of dark but next you want to remove the two 13mm nuts for the, or bolts for the starter. Then you can, I usually just um, push it out of the way, or you can also um, take off the, uh, I get a good angle, but you can unbolt the bolts from like in front of the cross member. So, uh, I think they're like, it's like an eight and a 10. Um, so yeah, if you, if you can't move it out of the way, then just unbolt the two wires going to it from behind there. Alright guys, so those wires for the starter, the one of them is 8 mil and the other one is a 13 mil. And then once you do that, you'll have three torque converter bolts to take off. 
and then um, when you take off the starter you're going to want to take off the 10 mil holding the plastic here because that's going to kind of get in your way to be able to pull the starter out but normally you'll have the 15 mils here these are allen wrenches or allen type or whatever <laughs> allen type bolts um, so yeah normally you'll have the 15s I think this tranny was probably swapped before once you take off the first bolt you take off the shield here at the front so you can get to your crank um, it's a 24 mil bolt and you spin it until the other bolt shows up right here and then once the bolt shows up you stop you loosen it off and then you spin it again and you have three bolts in total you have to take out I forgot to mention if you take the start off and you don't see a bolt there um, you probably already know but you don't see a bolt there just spin it until you see a natural bolt and then you just take it off then after I do that I normally like to loosen up or take off the two lower bolts for the transmission all right guys so then you're going to want to take up the 15 millimeter nut holding the tranny to the cross member then jack up the tranny a little bit to take the weight off of the cross member then you'll take off you hold the bolt on the other side with the 21 millimeter wrench and then you'll with the socket on the nut side you, it's also 21 you take that off all right so after you take the cross member out you lower the tranny so the angle kind of lowers down in the back and most likely tranny fluid is going to start spilling out of there so then um, the next thing I like to do is the tranny lines here um, you pretty much just pull this uh, camera doesn't want to focus but you pull those out and it's going to have these little clips in there uh, you'll need like a pick tool and to be able to take the little clip out uh, it's kind of a pain but it, it's kind of, it'll, it's going to be kind of hard to show on video because the angle here so I mean if you can't figure it out probably Google how to take those out I'm pretty sure someone shows it so I, if you don't have a long extension or the sources to make a long extension kind of like I did here um, I would say the longer extension you can get the better like if you can get like a three foot extension that'd probably be the most ideal and then either have like a set of, of uni, uh, like the universal, so they, the wobble ones or whatever. Um, but if you don't have one, all you'll really need is a 15, so you can just go buy a 15 and get like the deep socket. Normally I have a, uh, a universal joint that I can make any, any of them that I want. Oh, here it is. This one here I can make pretty much any socket I want into a... Um, a un like a wobble one so if you don't have one of these you can just go get this kind I prefer this kind better because you know whatever way you move it it stays in that angle and these when you're putting it in there with the weight of the socket it's gonna be like flopping around so either get uh, these are called universal joint sockets but get either one like this but a deep socket or one of these and if you can't find one of these universal ones uh, you can get these wobble ones here, but I recommend this one instead. Alright guys, so the reason I said to get a long bolt, you can't really see from here, but when you're doing it, you'll be able to see. A long extension, I mean, with the universal sock, uh, joint and the socket, is if you stand behind pretty much at the tail shaft of the tranny, you'll, you'll be able to see a clear shot of all the bolts. And then, uh, especially the ones up top, it makes it a lot easier. You just slide it in through here, and... You pretty much can, I'm not sure how good that's almost got there, but not sure how good that's showing up on camera, but um, pretty much you have a clear shot all the way to the top middle one and all the ones around. So if you have a really long extension and the uni bit or the universal bit or whatever on there, it's going to make your day a lot easier. And if you don't have the tool, I would strongly suggest investing into one before you... Uh, do the job all right guys so one thing i forgot to mention is some of those upper bolts are going to have like brackets on them so um the nut that holds them on is a 13 and the actual bolt that holds the tranny on is a 15 and you'll have like three nuts on the top side there'll be a bracket on the uh, for the wiring on the like the one you can't really see in the video but it's like right in that area there and then the one the top center one We'll have like the breather hose so you have to take that one off and then uh on this side 
the the dipstick will have one too. So what you'll do, it's gonna be bolted onto this spot here. You'll take off the 13 nut, and then uh, if you have like a long screwdriver, the bracket that holds it, you kind of stab it in between there and hit it up with the hammer to pop it out from here. And then you'll take out the bolt there, and you pretty much just work your way around until you just leave like two bolts holding the tranny in. And then if uh, you're gonna have a helper or something, this is when you get them. So you, pretty much the only thing that's gonna be left holding up the uh, the bolts for the tranny, or I mean the tranny, is gonna be those two bolts. So have someone ready or have your jack ready and secure to catch the tranny so it won't fall. And don't forget to take off your uh, neutral safety here. Uh, this is what I just do. I just take it out because these usually have like glue in them or something They usually it's a pain to take them out So it's faster to just take the whole thing off. All right guys, so That's probably gonna end it for today. I got the tranny out now time to take the motor out and uh, Time to take the motor out and Then after that I just reverse process put the 6 liter in here and put the 4L80 so there is going to be a couple of wiring modifications, not very much, just pretty much just swap two wires around, pretty swap one wire and add one wire, so it's going to be pretty straightforward, um, and I'll show you how to do that too in the next video, but for now, thanks for watching.